G'day all. I'm very excited about this parcel. I ordered this from Engine DIY Shop about eight or nine days ago and it's arrived. That might give you a bit of a hint of what's in the box. But, oh, there we are. Look at that. A B01, an Ocmo B01. Let's get this out of the box. Come on, here we go. Just want to be careful here. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. What a nice box. Ocmo Retro. Ball top monitor, hit and miss engine B01. Let's open them up and have a look. There's the instruction manual for the B01. The packaging on these engines coming out of China now is absolutely fantastic. You've really got no look look how moulded that is. You've really got no worries. Oh, how beautiful. You've really got no worries or concerns about the engine or what you've bought getting any damage in transit. Wow, that's just absolutely beautiful. Look at how nice that is. Uh, so there's the there's the ball top lid. So this looks like it's this looks like it's turned brass. And inside there, the, the, ball, the ball top monitor there is aluminium with that nice brass top. And some spare O-rings and, uh, yep, that's a, a drill starter. Right, here's the flywheel, the right to the flywheel. So let's hop it, pull this out. There's even a cutaway there for the electrical switch. Well, that's in tight. I just want to be careful, I don't want to pull it too hard and it jumps out of my hand. Wow, look at that. That's absolutely stunning. What a beautiful engine. I've been doing some reading on these. Looking up the history of them, just to get an idea more about them, which is nice to know. So, this is a model made by Ocmo and Jin is one of the, the main people that work at Ocmo, he runs Ocmo and started Ocmo, it used to be called Microcosm and now it's gone to Ocmo. This is a, a model of a Baker ball top monitor hit and miss engine. Now these were classic American stationary gasoline engines and they were built by the Baker Manufacturing Company. I'm pretty sure it was in Evansville in Wisconsin and uh, they started the factory in the early 1900s in the USA. Now these were typically from about, I think about 1 horsepower to 15 horsepower. So they were small enough for around the farm chores, but still powerful enough for pumps, grinders and small saw rigs. Here's an old ad from back in the day. Okay, I've moved in from my workshop into my steam room so I could just have a much more detailed look and just take it all in of just absolutely how beautiful this engine is. It's just stunning. It's just an absolute beauty. You'll notice that mine doesn't have the monogrammed monitor on here. That was limited to the first 100 from Jin. Now, Jin would have, should have signed here. Yep, this is number 197 from Jin there at Ocmo. Absolutely beautiful. You'll notice here as well that there's an arrow for the rotation of the flywheel. Now, I think that's a, that's a really good idea. This is the first one that I've um, hit and miss engine that I've got that's got that arrow rotation. I think that's going to be really, really handy. Now, I think I've got about uh, roughly about a dozen hit and miss engines now. I was always going to just start off with one. But like anything else, these little engines are addictive. But this is absolutely 
by far the best looking hit and miss engine that's um joined my collection it's just beautiful it's just absolutely gorgeous i know i keep saying that it looks unreal on mounted onto this um wooden stand that it's on this i'm not sure what you'd be called it a sled but it would have been moved around on the farm i tell you what it would have needed some heavy fellas to move one of these around Let's have a look at some close-up photos. It's just an absolutely gorgeous engine. But uh, let's see if we can get it running for its first time. These run on one single battery, which is different from all the other hit and miss engines that I've got that run on three. I always, on those ones that take three, I've always um, put a dummy battery in, so they're running on three volts. But uh, I wouldn't make a habit of running a gas engine inside the house. But I will make an exception this time. I've got my white gas, which is sold down here in Australia in hardware stores as Shellite. And I just use one of these little pipettes, which make it very easy transferring fuel from the container into the petrol tank. Try one more, it should be enough. It's filled a bit then. One more for luck. Okay. Put the cap on. This is exciting. Now I always use milk, mousse milk which is just Ballistol with some water in it. Ballistol is water sol soluble. It's fumbled that word. And it makes a nice white liquid that stops any rust forming on any metal parts that are liable for rust. And I just use a syringe to get that in the hit and miss hoppers. That should be enough. Okay, so that's off. So we'll turn that on. Put my finger over here. Now I haven't touched that at all. Okay. Let's see if that brought in. I think, yep, got a bit of fuel on my thumb then. Hang on, I'm just going to put a cap on this fuel otherwise I know what's going to happen I'm going to knock it and there's going to be petrol everywhere okay where was I I've had to make a little bit more elbow room for me because I'm going to pull this rope and I'm going to break these globes that are lighting up the engine so here we go oh, there we go it's alive Stop that. I've forgotten to oil it. That was lucky. Here's some oil. Oh, that was lucky. Wonder if anyone was watching the video and saying, Jim, you haven't oiled it. So I'll just open this up. 
half a turn because I know I've got some of these on steam engines and they do they do empty pretty quickly so let's see if we can get this started again so let's see if I can hand start it flyboard direction that's handy oh, oh hand start it too that's good it's not jumping around much Wow, that is just a beautifully made and beautiful running engine. Wow, am I pleased with this. The Ocmo B01 hitting this engine. And I bought this one from Engine DIY Shop. Yeah, that, in, that oil I can see has gone down a bit there already. You can see the governor working in there. Now I haven't touched the needle valve at all and I don't want to be for this video because it's running nice so I just don't want to stop it. Just see it keep going. I can't feel any warmth at all. Muffler's got a little bit of warmth to it, but there's no heat in the engine. Wow, that is just so well pleased with this. That's just absolutely beautiful. Running so nice. Look at that. What a stunningly beautiful engine. Out of all my hit and miss engines, this one would have to be the one that's running, that's um, jumping around the absolute least. I've got some that even, even clamped in the vise. They want to break out of the vise and smash themselves to pieces. Wow, that is just... Do I sound happy, guys? Because I'm absolutely blown away. Look at that. What a beautiful model being an upright. There we have it, the beautiful V01. I'm going to have to turn it off because the fumes, believe it or not, are pretty much building up in this steam room. Yep, that's enough for this. It's uh, it's getting very fumey in here, so. Off we go. Well, to say that I'm pleased with this engine would be a total understatement. I am absolutely enthralled with it. Can't wait to go out in the shed now and uh, put some more fuel in the tank and run it for a longer time and not worry about the fumes building up inside the room and inside the house. So, as always, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Bye for now. Stay safe.